Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady. And I'm Brian Sanders. Governor Jared Polis took action to protect reproductive rights for people in Colorado and in other states. His executive order protects Colorado workers from facing any disciplinary action for providing reproductive health care, which includes abortions. Governor Polis is also making it clear Colorado will not cooperate with any criminal or civil cases in other states for people seeking abortions here. Toxic algae is growing in Denver's Duck Lake, which is just south of the Denver Zoo. The algae blooms produce toxins that can make people or animals sick. And in fact, animals have been known to die sometimes within just minutes if they consume large amounts of water containing the toxin. So be sure to keep your dog on a leash near Duck Pond and don't let them drink or swim in it. Drivers heading toward the mountains, uh, be ready because CDOT will start charging for the I-70 express lanes as soon as today. The shoulder lane is only open for peak traffic on a 12-mile stretch from the Veterans Memorial Tunnels to Empire. The lane opened last July for testing, but tolls were waived during that period. Here's meteorologist Stacy Donaldson with your Denver 7 forecast. Another warm day for us here across the Front Range with temperatures in the upper 80s, and we'll have some scattered thunderstorms later on this afternoon. Not quite as intense as it was yesterday, but our forecast highs, as I mentioned, in the upper 80s here from Littleton to Denver into Aurora with partly cloudy skies up until later this afternoon. Then we'll see those scattered thunderstorms. So our satellite radar picture pretty quiet this morning. Most of those storms having left the state at the this point, but we did have a tornado reported around Brush, Colorado yesterday and lots of hail reports all across eastern Colorado. I think today we'll see a chance for scattered thunderstorms, but like I said, not as intense, but we will have a few up in the higher elevations as well if your travels take you up in around 10,000 feet.